there's so many like certain stuff are like almost set there in the literature to sleep between seven and nine hours is there an evidence for that yeah total sleep time sleeps a little little more nuanced than just total sleep time mm -hmm. it's quite a basic marker of of sleep health. When we're talking at population levels, you kind of want around five sleep quality markers that we're looking at to get the, the potential health and lifespan benefits of sleep. So one of them is total sleep time. Normally it's around seven hours plus. Mm -hmm. And then there's four more. Uh, one is waking up uh, in the morning feeling refreshed five days a week. Okay. So that's a, like an easy marker of sleep quality. Not having difficulty falling asleep. So that's sleep onset insomnia. Not having sleep onset insomnia more than two nights per week. Similar thing for not having difficulty maintaining sleep throughout the night. So sleep maintenance insomnia are the two types of uh, insomnia, the main ones, more than two nights a week again. And then um, I think the last one is not using uh, sleep medication more than two nights a week as well. It's because as is often, it's not because sleep medication is inherently bad, it's that a lot of these medications disrupt sleep quality and then have effects on other organs and side effects mm -hmm. in the long term.